hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about wizards in olu suppose if you go to crm and if you open a wizard you can see a mark close button here so once you click on this mark close button you can see a pop-up is coming in the screen that is you can enter a lost reason for the leads so let's see how we can generate such a pop-up that is such a wizard in our module so if i go to hospital that is the module that we are continuing the development let's add a new button here in the patient form that is a new button create appointment and once we click on that appointment button a pop-up come and inside that pop-up we will enter date patient name etc and once we click on create an appointment will create inside appointments so let's see how we can do this so here if i go to the crm back and if i open a lead and then if i click on mark plus button a pop-up is coming so first of all we have to define a model for that pop-up so the the difference between a normal model and a wizard is that in the normal model we will create a database we will create a database table so but in the case of wizard we are not creating a table inside the database we just need only a database table for a temporary or for a little time so we will define the wizards models as transient models so if i go to PyCharm and if I take our custom model that is OM hospital I have added a new folder that is wizards so under the, so all the files related with the wizards we will place inside the wizards folder so inside the wizards I have added a init file and in the outer init file that is init file directly inside OM hospital I have imported the wizards that is from dot import wizards is added here and inside the wizards I have an init file another that is from that init file I have imported the create appointment.py that is where we will define new model. So I have just added a sample code here that is from Odoo import models and fields and I have defined a new class. You can see here I have defined models as transient model. You can see models.transient model. So if I take the code of patient.py that is patient model you can see we have defined the patient models as models.models .models, which will create a database table. But once we define as a models.transient model, it will create a table inside the database, but it will get flushed after some time. Like if we have a table records like uh, two, three records right now, if you check that same table after four or five minutes, the table will be empty. So this is how you can define a transient model that is models.transient model. And you have to game, give a name for that model. So I have given the name as create appointment. So inside the wizard we have to add some field like patients and date has to be selected so let's define the fields so i will add a minute one field of patient patient id equal to fields dot minute one of core model hospital dot it's, it's missing hospital dot patient i will add the string as string as patient now i have to add another field which is of date field I'll give the field name as appointment date. Appointment date. So I think there is some sub type. Oh no, it's fine. Appointment date that is fields of type date and string us. String us appointment date. So what we have done is we have added two new fields inside the model create appointment that is patient id which is minute one field of co model hospital dot patient and an field date to select the appointment date so this is all about what we have to done inside the python so we have what we have done is we have from the outer init file we have called this wizards folder and inside the wizards folder we have another init file from that we have called this create appointment dot py and inside that file we have defined a transient model with the name create appointment and inside that model we have defined two fields that is patient id and appointment id so now let's see if i go to that's all done if i go to patients form view where we have to add the button let's just add a first add a button here that is create appointment so on clicking that appointment button we will generate the pop-up so let's add that button first so for that i will go to the corresponding form view so if i go to the views and then to the patient.xml so here we will in the inside the header we will define a new button that is button name the test name so 
I'll come to it. I will update that name and string us string create appointment, which we will see in the front end. Create appointment and type as object for now. Type as object and class OI highlight so that it will comes in the blue color. OI highlight. So so we have added a button there is a spelling mistake in the OI highlight okay updated so what we have done is we have added a button inside the header for creating the appointment so just note the string now string as create appointment so i will just upgrade the module so before that i will just restart the service as we have defined the fields inside the model so now i will go to the apps menu and i will upgrade our module that is hospital management so from here i will upgrade the module so what we have done is we have defined a new model that is transient model create appointment with two fields patient id and date and inside the xml we have added a new button inside patients form view for creating the appointment so if i go to the hospital that is patients it's, itself is here so if i open order record you can see you have a new create appointment button so once we click on this button we have to get a wizard so first of all we have to design that wizard and then later we will attach that wizard to the button so for that i will just close the views now and inside the wizards folder you can see i have a create appointment.xml file here so this i will use for de designing the wizard which has to be pop up so inside that file i have just added basic syntax that is encoding is defined and order tag is done so now let's define the wizards so if i go to crm again and let's take the sample of what we get in the mark closed so if i search mark closed inside the code so finding path and if i search mark closed here inside the code you can see when clicking this button a type equal to action is getting executed so I will, I will search for this record and you can see this is the action getting executed don't worry if you are not getting the point i will come to it so now just i will copy this from the crm lead so i will just copy this and i will paste it inside the xml file we have created for the wizard so i'll just paste it here and i will just correct the indentations so that's done so for now i'll just comment it out and let's focus here so first of all we have to create an ir model recording ir.actions.active window here i have to give an id create appointment wizard like that you can give an id create appointment wizard like that you can give an id here you can give a name for that action create appointment appointment you have to give a name that's done type equal to ir dot actions dot act window and the rest model you have to give the model we have defined here so inside the create underscore appointment dot by we have defined a new model that is create appointment so i will copy that name and i will paste that name here inside the rest model okay we paste the name so the rest model is create dot appointment form view mode is form and view id we will come to it target equal to set as new so we have to define the corresponding form view now so i will give the ideas create point when form like that i have given so you have to specify this id here inside view id so on click on executing this action this form has to be visible so i have specified this view id as the id of this record so i have given id for this record and you have to give a name before giving the name i'll just copy this model name and i'll paste it here and i'll give the name as create appointment dot wizard you can give the name as per your need and inside the model you have to specify the correct model which you have defined inside the python file that is create dot appointment which we have created here inside python file create appointment has specified here as model then in the form string if you take on uh, uh, the example of marcus loss can see a string is coming here that is loss reason so i will give such a string here that is create appointment so there is a mistake okay I'll give the string us give the string us 
let me lost place in the mode and create appointment so i have updated the form string and inside that field we can give fields which you have defined inside the model that is one is first field is this patient id you can specify the patient id and the another field is appointment date so i will copy that name to and i will control d and put that field so inside this form view we have added two fields that is patient id and appointment date so you will get two fields that is one is patient and another one is appointment now you have to de design these reports design these buttons so here in the footer you can define the button so one button will be create appointment for creating the appointment so i'll give a name for that button button name will create appointment i will set the string as create type object class button primary and another button is cancel button so let's see what happens now so what we what we have done is inside the xml file we have defined a new action that is inside the model ir.actions.act window name has given type is ir.actions.act window model is specified correctly view mode is form view id is specified that is the id of this record target new and we have defined the corresponding view don't forget to give the model name correctly and inside the form we have uh, shown the field that we have created inside the corresponding model now we have to call this xml file inside the manifest file so if i go to manifest file i'll call this file from here that is wizards slash what's the name wizard slash create appointment dot xml wizard slash create appoint appointment dot xml so we have called the corresponding xml file inside the manifest file now let's upgrade the module so right now if you upgrade the module there is no nothing you can see changes so right now we have to sync this created wizard to the button that we have created so if i go to so this is the wizards wizard code of the wizard so i will ask you to change the position of this file control x from here and paste it somewhere here before the patient.xml file because we are going to call this wizards action from patient.xml file so if i go to patient.xml file here so this is the where we have defined the button which button this button if i go to hospital inside the patient form we have added a create button so on clicking this create button we need to pop that wizard so i have changed the button type as action and button name add a percentage what is percentage yeah percentage here yeah, percentage is found like this and what is I'll copy this name and don't worry I will explain the same thing I am underscore hospital dot so if I search coexisting code control shift off you can see all the button is defined like percentage bracket after bracket you have a D so what we have done is i have changed the button type as action earlier it was button type equal to object i just changed it to action and inside the name i have to specify which action has to be executed so this is the create appointment xml file so i have copied this name that is create appointment wizard and i have given it here inside the name you have to give i have also added the module name dot record id and before that percentage round bracket inside that you have to give the external id round bracket close d now let's restart the service and update the module and see the changes so the service has been restarted now i will go to apps menu okay the module is loading so once after we upgrade the module we will go to the patient form view and we will click on the create appointment button and we will see what happens so the module is getting loaded ok 
okay the module got loaded successfully without any errors so we will go to hospital you have hospital as the first menu i'll click on auto mates and if i click on create appointment you can see a pop-up that we have seen similar in the crm is coming there so once we click on this you can see patient you can select the patient from here and which date you need appointment and you can click on create button right now we have done the code for this create button as uh, so we are just dealing with how to generate wizard so if you need you can just add a code for creating appointment but i am not dealing with right now so if you click on cancel this wizard will get disappeared that's working how because if you take create appointment.xml you have a special as cancel so this is how you can just add a cancel button and near to the cancel button we have create button that is coming from here that is button create appointment string create coming from here and we have two fields that is patient id and appointment id appointment date which you can see here so this is how you can generate a wizard i will just wind up the things so what we have done in this session is we have just added a new folder wizards for placing the files related with wizards so first of all for the wizard i have to define a new model so i have defined the new model inside create appointment.py that is model is transient model with the name create.appointment with fields patient id and appointment date i have called that file inside init file and then the wizards folder is called inside the outer end file and then i have to design the view so here in the xml First of all, I have defined an actions that is ir.actions.active window. I have specified the correct uh, model that is create app dot appointment. Then view ID is specified here. And inside the view, I have specified we have two fields that is patient ID and appointment date. And in the footer, we have added two buttons that is create and one is for canceling. And then the wizard is called and that XML file is called inside the manifest file. You can see wizard slash create appointment.xml then in the views if i go to the patient view you can see we have added a button here button with type as action and string is given us create appointment and in the name i have called like this percentage round bracket external id round bracket close d and i have called the these actions we have created so this is all about how to generate a bizarre in Odo. if you have any queries or any questions regarding this you can comment it out or you can reach us over the mail our email id is odomates at gmail.com please subscribe our channel and like the videos if you will to do it thank you